Hello everyone, welcome to my presentation on temperament in the workplace for MPA 520 leadership and management. The following are the temperament types and the combinations that fall under these temperament types. So we have first the artisans which are the SPs, there's the guardians which are the SJs, the idealists which include the NFs, and the rationals, which include the NTs. A brief overview of each of these temperament types are that the SPs are always looking at their surroundings and trying to look for opportunities, and they make something new out of every opportunity that they see. So they're the artisans, they're very artistic, and they come up with different ways of accomplishing their tasks. And then the SJs are very observant of their surroundings, but they're not looking really for opportunities. They're making sure that everything is being done accordingly and that all conduct is appropriate to the workplace. And then NFs are introspective. So they are friendly and are looking to be a positive aspect or a positive, um, we could say energy or just something positive to the people around them or the lives of the people around them. And they're not very conflictive. And the NTs are also introspective, but they are in a different way introspective because they're tough minded and use. They depend a lot on technology to be able to solve problems, and they are very self-sufficient. So each one of the letters that was presented in the previous slide means something. For the E's, Myers-Briggs Temperament describes it as being extroverted. For the I's, being introverted. For the S, being sensory. For the T's being tough-minded, the F's being friendly, the J's being scheduling, and then the P's being proving. Myers-Briggs gives a description of each of one of these temperaments in a way that it's easy to understand. And after analyzing each one of these, we are able to understand the temperaments of our colleagues. Understanding temperaments is important because it does make up personality as does character. But temperaments are more about inclinations and not habits, which is what character definitely covers. And so temperaments are more what a person will do in their situation or in a certain situation. And this is very important because we need to understand how to work together in organizations. A great way to understand this is that every type has a complementary type. So although a colleague may be an F or a colleague might be SJ or NT or SP, each one of these is complementary to the other or two of them are complementary to the others. An example of this is given in Kiersey's book, where it describes artisans as being utilitarian just like rationals, and therefore having a lot of the same operations. So knowing this, we can work together with different temper temperament types. If we understand the complementary parts that each te temperament has and how it complements ours, that is a very good advantage of understanding these temperaments. So my temperament is the guardian type, which is the SJs, and the letters are ESFJ, which mean extroverted, sensory, feeling, and judging. Now that I've studied these temperament types, I am able to understand how my temperament complements others and why in many cases my temperament has not complement complemented others and it has helped me understand 
surgeon colleagues as well. So previously discussed, the SJs are the guardian type, and my temperament type is definitely that of the SJ, and therefore my inclination is to make sure that everything gets done accordingly to like policy and protocol and basically any daily tasks in the workplace get done and however I do have feeling which is being um, more friendly about it so I am pretty much a stickler for getting tasks done but I have a friendly way of going about it and in my previous workplace I did work with someone who was more of a NT meaning that they are more tough-minded in the way that they go about getting tasks done and so I did work with a manager who had this temperament type and sometimes I felt that there wasn't really feeling in it so it would come off a little bit harsh when they directed us who worked under them to do certain tasks and so now as a manager myself I can see the difference in temperament types even though we had the same objective um, our inclinations were a lot different on how to go about it these are my references thank you for watching